Hello, this is Lee Anthony Davis with another video on my YouTube channel. This one's about announcements, as you know, I've been doing them every day. And on this video, I will be announcing uh, Group of the Day, Contributor of the Day, Birthday Announcements, Doctor Who News, uh, as well as updates and uh, a Doctor Who quiz question and the answer from yesterday's quiz question that I asked. And also, I'll be showing you some memorabilia at the end of this. And I, if I haven't told you already, I will tell you what the trailers are that I'll be putting on my YouTube channel later on today. Right, OK, let's get on with it. For Wednesday, the 13th of September. Group of the day for Tuesday, the 12th of September, goes to the James Bond group. Da -na, na -na, na -na -na. Yes, that's the one. And uh, that's currently on Facebook. Uh, it's got uh, roughly over three and a half thousand people joined. So it's very popular. I was thinking of doing a group like that myself. Anyway, uh, so the James Bond group is group of the day for Tuesday, the 12th of September. Right, moving on, contribute of the day. Uh, that goes to Graham Baird uh, for his contribution for Tuesday, the 12th of September. So he's contribute of the day. And they will be posted on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and my story uh, uh, later on today. Right, moving on to birthday announcements. And here we go, there's a few of them. Right, first up, Mac Fox, Anthony Buana, Flo, Humberto, Humberto Herrero, Bel, Beckless Druby, Sean Russell, Robert Thomas, Jester, uh, Jester Roto, Marcus Santiago, Montero Tarif. John Coig, uh, he has reached 64 years of age, and Mark Sullivan has reached another six, uh, another seven years more by reaching 71. And finally, Pat Salvo. Uh, sorry about some of the pronunciations there, I do apologise, but these people are celebrating their birthdays today on Facebook. Right, moving on, some Doctor Who news. Uh, I've got uh, the team that will be uh, involved with Series 14, and I'll read you their names out. You probably know some of them. I know some of them. Uh, Scott Hancock will be the script editor for Series 14. You might know him from his big finish days. Also, uh, there's Phil Collinson, uh, who uh, in the Russell T. Davis era, uh, 2005, and, and uh, I think he did 2006 as well. He's back as executive producer along with Julie Gardner. Remember Julie Gardner, who was in cooperation, cooperation with uh, Russell T. Davis in the first series. Uh, she went on to, she's done EastEnders, or she went on to do it. No, I think she already did it. Uh, and she's done quite a few other stuff as well. But yes, yeah, so I'm glad to see her back. That's the sort of uh calm in effect on the team and also uh we've got joel collins also executive producer along with jane tranter who's produced a few of the episodes especially uh uh in the uh, peter capaldi era she did some uh, producing stories there as well uh, she she was uh, for Stephen Moffat then, obviously. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, we've got Vicky Delo, who's going to be producer. Chris May is going to be producer. Ella Marsh is going to be co-producer. Uh, to me, this sounds like too many Indians and not enough... Uh, well, too many Chiefs and too, not enough Indians. But like I said, uh, it's a big, big, big uh, team here. Uh, I'll let you know on any other information I get. What I do know is that uh, either Simon Carroll, Sal, Simon Callow, you remember him who played Charles Dickens, or uh, Simon Pegg, uh, who you remember was in that sort of adventure. Uh, he played an executive editor, didn't he? Or editor or whatever, sharp suit, grey, uh, blonde hair. Uh, he'll be back, or Simon Callow will be back for Series 14. I'm not sure if they're playing the same characters. I don't think Simon Pegg could play his character. He got bored alive by the Jagrafesh, remember? The Jagrafesh? Sorry, Jagrafesh. Jagrafesh, 
uh, when it blew up because it was overheating and uh, it was this big lump of flesh, wasn't it, really, with a big mouth and eyeball, uh, has had some eyes on the side of it. But it was implanted by the Daleks, as we know, and that was an arc itself, wasn't it? Uh, so that story linked the actual uh, satellite, uh, what was it, Satellite 5, was it? Sat oh, I can't remember. Anyway, it was, a, it was a story arc, and that linked that story with the uh, Parton and the Ways and Bad Wolf. So anyway, uh, Simon Callow or Simon Pegg, were, uh, one of them will be returning because uh, the script editor, Scott Hancock, has said so. Right, so anyway, these people will be taking over Doctor Who for Series 14. They've already got three people in place to uh, direct uh, and script the three uh, 60th anniversary specials. Any more Doctor Who news, I will let you know about it tomorrow. Right, I'm moving on now. <laughs> uh, right, here we go. Updates. Uh, this is on my page and group on Facebook. This is the uh, Lee Anthony Davis, the Doctor Who page. And they and the current uh, number for that is now 42 followers. So it's gone up to... Uh, my group has just beaten it by one. It's gone up to 43 members. So thank you for joining uh, my Lee Anthony Davis the Doctor Who group I'll give you another update on those two tomorrow and the other update I wanted to give you was Instagram yesterday it was 70 now it's 73 so I'm really pleased with that right okay then updates tomorrow uh, continuation uh, right now uh, cut before moving on to the final thing uh, that's the Doctor Who memorabilia I wanted to, uh, I asked you a question yesterday, it was about William Hartnell, uh, and I said, how many adventures did William Hartnell have between 1963, which is his first one, The Unearthly Child, and his final adventure, The Tenth Planet? Uh, some came close, I uh, had a couple of comments, one went 27, the other one said 30, would you believe it, it's in between, it's 30. Uh, sorry, it's 29, sorry, 29, 29 adventures uh, William Hartnell did uh, before he regenerated into Patrick Troughton. So the answer is 29 adventures. Right, here's another Doctor Who question. Uh, which former Doctor Who st uh, starred in Nicholas and Alexandra as... The character Rasputin, which former Doctor Who uh, appeared in Alexand uh, Nicholas and Alexandra as Rasputin in the 1971 film Alex uh, Nicholas and Alexandra. And he was pretty good as well. Uh, and I'll give you the answer to that tomorrow. Right, before I go, it's time to show you some Doctor Who memorabilia. Now, this is my Doctor Who calendar. I'll just show you it briefly. There you go. Can you see that? Yes, you can. There you go. I'll just go through it quickly. Uh, January has... It's quite good, this, because uh, you can keep this. You don't throw it. Like other calendars, you chock it away. That's William Hartnell in January. Right, he was doing it this way, and I'll just walk, give you a talk through. That's Patrick Troughton in February. Uh, we've got uh, John Pertwee, the dandy, in... March. Next up, Tom Baker. He's in April. There you go. Moving on to the next one, May. It's Peter Davidson in his cricket attire. Uh, June, we move into Colin Baker and the multicoloured dream coat, as I call it. <laughs> uh, moving on to Sylvester McCoy wearing the question mark jumper that made him an exclamation. Uh, <laughs> There he is. Uh, he's a seventh doctor, obviously, but that's July. Moving on to August, we've got the eighth doctor and the war doctor. That's played by Paul McGann and the late Sir John Hurt. There you go. Moving on to the next one, which is coming into uh, September. It's Christopher Eccleston. There you go. Which is my favourite doctor of the, uh, of the new Who, anyway. David Tennant is... Uh, Coming into October, there you go. November sees, sorry, that's September. 
October is uh, Matt Smith. There you go. Can you see him? Great. And then we've got uh, Peter Capaldi as the 12th Doctor. That's November, I think. Yes, it is November. And finally, in December, we've got uh, the, the last Doctor before the new adventure begins in the November. Uh, Jodie Whittaker and uh, I like to call the other one a council state doctor. I don't know. She just reminds me so much of that. But Jodie Whittaker is the 14th doctor. She's the fugitive doctor. But that is uh, Chris Chibnall's uh, sort of story, isn't it, really? Uh, I don't know what he's going to do with that, uh, uh, Russell T. Davis. He's probably not going to go through with the uh, timeless child. You never know. two. <coughs> Bless me, bless me, bless me. So anyway, that's that. That's my Doctor Who calendar. I just went through it quickly. I didn't sort of give you great detail about it. I'll show you some more Doctor Who memorabilia tomorrow. So that's it from me. I thank you very much for watching. Uh, join me again tomorrow, roughly after midnight, and I'll see you then. Don't forget, I've got the, uh, I've got the uh, uh, trailers going out very shortly, t later on today. I'll be putting them up. It's the Lost in Space trailers. So look out for that on my YouTube channel. And I'll see you if you're on Facebook. Hopefully you join me group and I'll see you there as well. Right, okay then, that's it. Thank you for watching and bye for now.